We're back. We're here. We're doing more shiny hunting. I actually can't believe that I that the soundtrack starts off on the actual logo stuff. Maybe I should turn that down a bit. All right, another another fifty for tonight. Meanwhile, I'm going to be eating some paella. That scared the hell out of me. You guys couldn't hear it, but the uh, but the GameCube. But the, uh, the, the, uh, the game audio was coming through loud and clear, and I was like, why did- wh why is the battle music playing? Gave me quite a fright. Corey, can we get the, um, all you already did, can we get the prediction up? I used it on the wrong Pokemon. Planning on making every Fee Shoujo member as a quag now, Tom? Oh my god. What's the matter, Bog? Just trying to eat my dinner. Yeah, he's begging for food. No big guy. Is tonight the night? After you. After you. Good boy, bud. I gotta say, this first Quagsire is not being uh, very uh, copacetic. We may be in for the long run here. Hi, bud. Hi, manatee. Sorry, let me finish my food. Sorry for the scraping sound next to my microphone. Nope. All gone, buddy. All gone. Hi, it's all gone. Yes, you're a good boy with a big head, but it's all gone. If this game were to be remade, it would have to be from the ground up. Because I mentioned before that this game is is very um, it's very short, but just filled in with uh, unskippable trainer battles and um, long animations, as well as a, a massive difficulty spike at the end. Chris, hi.
<laughs> Josh is playing TTYD right now. Support the brand. Let him support the brand. How many attempts for this shiny hunt stream, Tom? Uh, 50. We're going to get to 2450. Like, I can't imagine they do a ground-up remake of a relative afterthought like this. I mean, you're right, but at the same time, like... Like, this game... It, just in terms of overall gameplay, this, this game has not aged well. In terms of, like, pacing, gameplay... It's very slow-paced. So if they were to remake it, like the reason I the, the reason I think they should remake it is because it would the pacing would have to be faster. Nope. And the dogs are wrestling. Yeah. I'm try to pressure Christian into playing with you. They are wrestling now. Just gotta be wary of their their body language and vocal language. Like Baldur's Gate 1 Enhanced Edition still holds up, really? I know they in Baldur's, for Baldur's Gate 3, they made it um they made the gameplay more similar to that of like DD. How do, how is the gameplay in Baldur's Gate 1 and subsequently 2? I gotta, I gotta keep looking back at the dogs to make sure that they're they're doing fine. Set standard for the uh, classic isometric games. I think it's based on 2E. Oh, interesting. I never played the f original Fallout games. No. I'm uh, also kind of laughing if uh, if a D and D based game was made using the GURP system, as opposed to like what they'd come up with for D and D, or rather GURPS, because the S in GURPS stands for system. No whining, so I haven't like I like they're they're still doing fine. This is the longest they've gone like playing with each other, where, where I haven't heard any whining from either of them. And I'm constantly looking back to make sure they're both moving. Nope. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, we're done. Question. Thank you. Ow. Come here. Come here. Ow. Come here. Let me check your face. Let me check your face. Yeah, you're bleeding a lot, buddy. How did you not want from me? You didn't whine from any of that, buddy. Thank you for kisses. Blood. Oh yeah, that. I, 
It happens all the time when, when those two play. It's 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 small cuts. Because it sounds like the dogs have gotten less friendly compared to the beginning. Not really. It's just that Christian is strong and Manatee is prideful. Like, if Manatee didn't like Christian, then I don't think Christian would know. Because Manatee doesn't have, like, the... the, the like, he hasn't exerted, he hasn't, uh, like, given off the, the body language or the, uh, or, like, the sounds or, like, or, like, has, has, has bitten or, or has, like, bitten Christian. So I think, like, they still like each other in, in a sense. No, bud, we're taking a break because, uh, because of, uh, Christian. Version of the Steven theme slaps harder than the Oras version, though, because of, of nostalgia. Nope. It's any consolation to anyone watching. The paella was good. I feel like chat would be exploding if it was if that was the shiny one, but I actually didn't see that one. Also reset. So if that was, sh and I didn't see it. So if it was shiny, then I'm effed. The roughly effed. In this, in this version of the song. I like how we haven't gotten even uh, even gotten to the main story music in the in this OST yet. It's been all like the battle mode. The lobby. The freaking logo intros. E Master, thank you for the raid! And boop. Razor Claw, my one flaw. Shit, I think that was the shiny. Did you see the art that someone had commissioned of, uh... 
Ina in the uh, in the Seattle Mud Crabs shirt. So good. It was shared in the Discord. Excellent. I know John has, has seen it. I wonder if Steven and Mal have. Zost, Zost funny. Excuse me? Oh, well, this does sound different. Ever so slightly, but it is a different song. Hi, Bug. Can you relax? Hi. Come on over here. Come here. Come here. I'm just gonna pet. I'm just gonna pet Bug. Oh. He doesn't trust me if I'm sitting at my desk and talking. Because he... If he's doing that, he's gonna pick me up. Shiny Dratini, good lord. Tristan, how many shinies do you have? Hi, you come here? No, that's the door, buddy. I know you want to leave out the door, but I want you to come here so I can pet you. Come on here, come on over here. Oh, the little man. He doesn't like being picked up. He tolerates it, but he doesn't like it. What's this button? Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, it looked thoroughly snagged. Got there. Tall as my VTuber? I haven't really, like, talked... I, I don't, like... I don't know the dimensions. Fairly short. Nope. IRL, I'm, like, I'm 6'1". I'm I don't know how tall this... I don't know how... Yeah, three feet tall. This wizard is three feet tall. Six foot one versus five foot thirteen. <laughs> I don't know if these are official OST names, but this one's called Wes Steals the Snatch Machine. Context is for heart uh, for art. I put your height around your IRL height. I mean, like, draw it as you will. Uh, like, it's magic. If anything changes, a wizard did it. Nothing like the harmonica of Outskirts Stand.
I can't catch that one. It, that gold duck doesn't have a black aura. Are Shadow Pokemon always shiny, huntable in, in Ochi Coliseum? Yes, with stipulations. You can only you only know if they're shiny after you've caught them, and it the, it's full odds with no way to change it. Plus, you can't just rematch the guy over and over again because once it once they the first time they send out the Pokemon is when it determines uh, the ID values that determines whether or not it's shiny. Jesse, thank you for the raid. Get them, uh, let's get them countermeasures going. What have you done? Slow. Got some slow harmonica music here as we, as we shiny hunt a Quagsire in Pokemon Coliseum, which you're not supposed to be able to do, which is why this number is so high. Help. Nope. For those of you that were at Noacking's stream, what, were, what was he playing? Halo 2, nice! The original or the anniversary edition? Or the anniversary edition with the original skin? <gasps> the news! Anniversary never played? Oh man. This just in. Noacking has never played Halo 2 before, and is hopefully having a good time playing Halo 2 for the first time. More on this story the next time Jesse streams. I ran out of news to talk about, so just listen to the jingle until the very end. Like, we don't even have any pets up for adoption that we normally fill the air with. Oh, good. The, the, for, the, the broadcast is ending. Excellent. I won! I found an item! Oh, no, wait. I leveled up. One of my favorite things to do with like with new people coming in from raids is explain this entire spiel with um with uh with how shiny hunting in this game works and my god is it a doozy. There is a remedial form of shiny locking in this game. Uh but it only affects the trainer that originally sends out the Pokemon. Which in almost all the cases in this game is the opposing trainer. If their IDs were to match in a way that they're shiny, it re-rolls the Pokemon's ID. But when you catch it, it doesn't re-roll the ID. It doesn't re-roll the ID. Um. Nope. For your trainer IDs. So if those happen to match and they'd be shiny, then you're good. Get the trouble relaxing, buddy. Archaic, I guess. I might be using the word remedial wrong. this song like once in the game unless you go back and fight the the uh, the chaser at um at a uh, outskirts stand
Oh, I am using a medial wall. Archaic. Manatee does not like being locked up in here. All right, once I get this first set of moves out, buddy, then I'll uh, then I'll let you out of here. I just ask that you be good. Type C, they go to 12 months of tier one. One year! Let's freaking go! I've run out of stuff to talk about because, uh... Because, like, I've been streaming every day, so not much has been happening. <laughs> hey, big guy, what you up to? There's no food up there for you, buddy. What's up, big guy? Did you just huff at me? What's up? No. Not for you. Hi. It's not for you. Hi. Thank you for jumping up on my desk. Or at least up on me. No. Can't have that. Right. Yes, you can give me a kiss. Th oh, thank you. Tropical storm affect you much? No, it actually missed us. Down? No, hey, Christian. Leave him alone. Nancy, Nancy, come here. Nancy, come here. Hey, what are you doing? I don't have any food, Christian. I was calling him over because I don't want you two fighting. These dogs, I swear. young enough to be called puppers. I, well, they're energetic enough to be called puppers. That much is cer certain. Oh, I registered someone on my PDA. Pokemon Center. Quags are a show if you're shiny before you catch it. No, it, it, it appears as shiny in your, in your party. Though, the, uh, the profile picture on, on there will be, will be shiny. Unless I've been lied to, and the uh, the ribbon syndicate like like um, like the the, the ribbon uh, uh, syndicate like Discord has been watching my streams and laughing. Nope. Oh, 
long before he finds out you can't actually get a shiny shadow Pokemon in this game. <laughs> Not this one was your longest shiny hunt. I guess technically I'm. Uh, I I haven't like done it in a while, but I never did catch a. Uh, I never did get a shiny uh, Draco fish. Uh, so Toasty gets. I don't know. Japes and hacks. I got an item! We're in Fenac City! It's been the favorite Pokemon you shiny hunted for? Probably the the Wooper I shiny hunted for in uh, in Scarlet and Violet. Not Scarlet and Violet, um... Sword and Shield. Because we got one shiny one and I wanted- and uh, it ended up having the wrong ability. I wanted it to have Water Absorb and it had Damp. Or no, wait. Or was I looking for Unaware? Manatee. I never got a shiny Dracovish. The reaction you're probably thinking of is when I, uh, when I got the, when I first saw, um, uh, Arctazolt for the first time. I was so bad at that uh, at that ultra wormhole game, uh, mini game in in uh, in Sun and uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, for like hunting shiny legendaries. Do you need help, buddy? You got it. Okay. Throw the luxuriant ball. Let's go gambling. Aw, oh, dang it, times 2,410. Seems like it's better to use Solgaleo for that than, uh, than Lunala. It seems like Lunala would be hard to see past. Neon Manly with the 19 months of tier one saying, hi, Tom. Hi. And Tom. Nope. Find it easier to move with Lunala. Interesting. I really remember seeing a shiny Dracovich on screen with you. I mean, I'm doing what I did then that I did now where I've got the picture of what the shiny looks like next to me. Just got a shiny coughing. Nice. The blue pearl. The blue smelly pearl. What's your favorite Pokemon of each type? I mean, like, they have that thing where it's like you go through each of the generations and different types and, and like, all that, and you pick out your favorite Pokemon from them. I'll probably do one of those at some point, but, like, I can't just name them off the top of my head right now. Mm -hmm. 
There's some too where it's like, is Quagsire my favorite water type or ground type? If it's water, then what about the other water type I like? If it's ground, what about Torterra, who I really like? I think one of the funniest things about Mega Man 2 is that almost everybody is weak to Metal Blade, including Metal Man. <laughs> Saito Sakaki, think of the 50, 56 months of Tier 1. Most appreciated. Mega Man 2 had a weird weakness path. Yeah, it was Metal Blade uh, good against everything else. Even if it wasn't weak to it, Metal Blade was still good against it. Except, actually, was Woodman weak to Metal Blade? Oh, this is all the motif of uh, the Fenex City theme. Woodman was weaker to atomic fire. No, Woodman's actual weakness was, um... Uh... No, wait. I got it backwards. Or no, what? Did I? Woodman's weakness probably was fire, but, um... I might have gotten it backwards because I thought maybe Airman's... Uh, yeah. There was... Uh, there was a reason why I thought... Airman was good against Woodman, but it's the it's the other way around. I think it's because in Mega Man 9. I think Tornado Man is good against the guy with the bees. I remember there being like projectiles on screen and then using tornadoes to blow them away. Who's Airman good against? Airman, Otaus, and I. Tornado Man was good against Hornet Man? Airman's blades got clogged by leaves? What was Airman good against? Arrow's good against Crash Man. Metal was good against Bubble Man? It's like the one thing that it wouldn't be good against. Nope. No one asked you, Dell. The theme, though. Was it bubble lead or bubble lead? I always thought it was bubble lead because the bubbles lead, like, get on the ground, like, lead forward. You know what? <laughs> I walked right into that one. Someone typed out, it is L-E-A-D, which reads both as lead and lead. As in to direct, okay.
Nothing like nothing like uh, asking a uh, a, a text-based uh, nothing like ask, asking uh, people that can only communicate through text text how to pronounce something. It's lead lead. Lead 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 lead. Gotta do laundry tonight. Hydro City or Hydro City? They're two words, so it's Hydro City. Like if you look at the zones in the game, it's it's Hydro City. It's not it's not it's not one word. If it was one word, it'd be Hydro City. It's not gonna stop me from calling it Hydro City, but it is Hydro uh, Hydro City. I gotta do laundry tonight. I gotta get the uh, the VODs uploaded and metadata for my trip. I need to check something as well. Uh, okay, so he did get the first part of Among Us out. So I, need, I need to do that as well. The prom is tomorrow. It's evolving. How many quags are we getting to plan on getting tonight, Tom? 2450. So we're almost three tenths of the way through. Approximately 33% done. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Even Tom and Chad, how are we? We're doing good. Imagine if that number down there was the amount of streams I did trying to catch this as opposed to the number of Quagsire I've caught. You got an itchy, buddy? That took a long time to evolve. Wow. I'm actually kind of surprised they put the evolution theme first because you can't evolve Pokemon until after you've purified Pokemon in, uh, at nope. uh, Agate Village. I don't know who is directing like where each of the songs go in this in this uh, soundtrack, but. I would have put evolution after Relic Forest. Remember where in the in the game the song plays? This is Pyrite Town. The area in which I'm currently hunting this Quagsire. As a matter of fact, see? <laughs> we'll do one with the normal sound, then we'll go back to the, the, the music.
Thought we could hear Quagsire's sonorous cry. You appear to have acquired many Zaya, indeed. Didn't even realize you switched to the actual game music and not the playlist. Yeah! I'm sneaky like that. It was, Manatee was really cute today. I, uh, he heard, like, somebody in the, uh, the, uh, at the front yard. Like, probably one of the neighbors, like, closing their door or something like that. And, uh, he was barking, so I was like, okay, we're gonna go out there so you can see that there's nothing wrong. So we were out there for a couple minutes, and while we were, uh, doing that, my neighbor, uh, pulled into, into their driveway, um, and, you know, got out of their car. And, uh, and Manatee, like, like, knows them all right, so he ran right over to her and just started saying hi. Nope. Oh, and then we'll get back into, yeah, hold on. There we go. <laughs> like it never happened. I looked over at my stream capture and saw the manatee emote out of the corner of my eye and I thought a fly had landed on my screen. <laughs> Tomorrow's stream is gonna be super early. Because, I, like I said, I've got a flight to catch. Well, you do call him Bug, it's true. I mistook the bug for a bug. That's hard to do. I was humming and doing percussion at the same time. I've never heard this song before because I don't think I've ever gone to check to look at the fortune teller. I was like, what song is this? Ah. Hold on a second. The result becomes clear in my crystal ball. will catch a quagsire, but will it be shiny? The answer to that remains to be seen, as the battle continues on. Nickel Duck falls asleep. Ah, but is it shiny? Nope! It would appear not. But this is not it. Or rather, I found a quag that you seek, and this is not it. For the quag you seek is beyond your grasp. Like trying to hold on to a specific grain of sand. It is impossible. Invisible to the naked eye. And may have already slipped from your fingers. Stay battling. Stay capturing. 
and the pink quagsire of shadow shall be yours. For fate is not so easily gone against, and it is your fate to one day encounter the pink shadow quagsire. Still think Espeon should have either had a pale green shiny or a or a deep magenta shiny. A deep green shiny does not fit Espeon at all. IMO. For some reason, this song reminds me of Goldeneye. I feel like I could hear it playing during like the uh, the um, silo level. I was playing Goldeneye recently. I didn't realize that the game took place over several years. That was like a few months at most. But like you get through a certain part of the game and then it goes like, like set like five years later. Nope. It's like the first, like, third of the game takes place, like, years before, like, the, the finale. Grimer and Muck, uh, adapt- their shiny colors adapt their, uh, their Cantonian counterparts. Looking at some emotes, how old is the Tom Bicep? I don't remember when we made that, uh, exactly, but I know that joke started when I was co-comming on Lucagen's uh, Pokemon Yellow stream. Because the sprite for Machop was like, it was like standing and flexing with his head back and his mouth open and like looking at the, at the, uh, the trainer. I was like, he's like, it's like he's going, ah, oh, touch my bicep! Ah, oh, touch my bicep! Josh just said you're not a gamer! Oh. I'm sorry, I don't accept the words from someone who is bad at video games. And Josh is bad at video games.
Come on, pick up. Coward. I don't even know if he's got Discord up. I tried calling Josh. Nope. You know, I'm going to stay in this call and hope he uh, hope he sees it and picks up then. I called him on Discord, yeah. him. It's Miracle Bees theme. I sent him a message saying, answer the call, my dude. Break into his house. Pull a Stephen George. I'm gonna forget I called him and he's gonna answer like an hour from now and I'm just gonna have a heart attack. Is it supposed to sound this off? Yeah, it's, it's specifically the theme song for uh, for Miracle B, who was a um, who was like a ripoff of Mirror B that you could fight later. Discord kicked me out of uh out of the call because I was in the call by myself for uh for more than three minutes. Toasty! Thank you for the raid! Get them countermeasures going. Oh, he's calling me! Guys, he's he's calling! What have you done? Let me throw the luxury ball and then I'll uh and then we'll uh we'll be good. ago I called him back. Hey Josh. Hey hey Tom. Right, your uh your chat can't keep a secret. Well I mean yeah well here's the thing. Um I am offline on Discord for some reason. Oh <laughs> <laughs> well then so I would not have seen it <laughs> ever. Anyway I, I, phone a friend. This is nope. phone a friend. Phone a friend. Oh, okay. Which, which, listen. I, I, I'm on. I'm gonna win a million dollars. Your chat um, said you don't think I'm a gamer. No, no, no. That's not what I said. Oh. No, 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 no. What'd you say? No. That? Wait. Is that not why you're? I thought you were calling me because I'm, I'm doing a quiz. <laughs> No, I called you because someone from your chat came over here and said that you said I wasn't a gamer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, we have very different ideas of what this call is for. So, no, here's what I said. Here's you're, what I you're said. You're live, I right? I just want to make sure. That I am. I, okay, yeah, I am so, so am I. I want to doubt. Yeah. Oh, wait, they can't. Hold on. Wait, sorry. They can't, they hear can't me. even hear you. <laughs> Josh has been talking to himself. That's weird. Okay, now I now they can. Now they can hear me. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Tom. Hi. Um. So, 
Well, here's what I said. Here's, let me let me defend myself. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I said I'm going to give John, you that opportunity. I said that John is more of a gamer than you. That's fair. That is that is very fair. I said that John is more of a gamer than all of us. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's all I said. And then I said like you're like maybe the next one down. Anyway, the goal was to the the it started with asking whether or not Hypercall was a gamer or not. <laughs> and I was like, "No, nah, you're like way down the list. Like oh, you and me, damn. way down the list, the both of us." The, that's the person you got beef with. But, wow, <laughs> man, I can't. Yeah, you know, I, yeah, Cole should have called me. <laughs> you know, I can't believe that. Uh, <laughs> man, I I can't believe that the chat was trying to get us uh trying to get us to feud like this. But little yeah. do they know, our bonds are stronger than ever now. Yeah, it's true. We are we are brothers. We are brothers. Uh, anyway, can you answer this question? Which of the following characters can be found in Petalburg? Koopa Troopers, Goombas, Bald Clefts, or Fuzzies? Uh, 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 oh, damn. Okay, so not Goombas. If I get this wrong, I will lose a million dollars. Uh, okay, it's, it's definitely not Goombas, because Goombas have their own village in Paper Mario 1. It's not... Goombas. It's not fuzzies because fuzzies live in uh, live in the sewers. Um, oh, it's either bald clefts or koopa troopas. It's either bald clefts or koopa troopas. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Oh, it doesn't help that they're both bald. Nope. I think all of these characters are bald except for fuzzies. <laughs> I, I, but I, but uh, mm. oh, wait 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 wait. All the residents of coin, Koopa yeah, coin flip, Tom. Coin flip a coin. <laughs> well, are, are all the residents of Koopa Village of Petalburg? Sorry, of Petalburg. Koopa Village is from uh, '64. Are all the vil the members of uh, of um, Petalburg bald? All of them? Well, now here's the thing. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Step back. Because no, you're no. They're not all bald. No, not all. Not all Goombas and not all Koopas are bald. It's Koopa Troopas. Is it? Yes. Okay, but what about the one Goomba that lives there? Shit. This is a very confusing question. Yeah, no, it really is. <laughs> In Petalburg, you can find... Wait, is it who you can or can't find? Can find. Can, okay. It's Koopa Troopas. Anyway, we're with this. I'm just gonna click it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know. <laughs> what question number is this? I actually might not think. I think there might not actually be a Goomba in. Petalburg. I don't think there maybe is. Maybe I'm just thinking. Maybe I'm just thinking of Goombella because she's just like there all the time. Yeah. Man, Goombas are everywhere. We go to Petalburg. I see a Goomba. We go to Bogley <laughs> Woods. I see a Goomba. We go to the Glitz Pit. I see a Goomba. Mario, that's that's me every time. They're is everywhere. I have to get one more question right. I've already gotten two questions wrong, so that if that gives you any indication of how I, how well I'm doing here. Gotcha. Okay. What are you doing right now, anyway? Are you oh, live? I'm yeah, I'm live. I'm shiny hunting for Quagsire. Oh. Okay. Uh, what? I'm sorry. What number question is this? Yeah. What number question is it? <laughs> There's a, the, num the numbers on the screen. In the original GameCube one, it, they they hide it. Do they really? Yeah. That's hilarious. It's not that hard to uh, to suss out because that is the last question. If you and so if you need one more, can, th like one yeah. more right or wrong, you can you can guess that it's question seven. Yeah, yeah. Oh, have you been supporting the brand? What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I've been told I've I've been told that your chat has been telling you that and with no context whatsoever. Rebecca's been saying that too. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I'm support. Listen, I, yes, I'm nope. supporting the brand. Ch uh, did, chat, should I should I tell him or should I leave him in suspense? What's the brand? Which brand? <laughs> Is Rebecca there? I she well yes. <laughs> She's. I'm trying to listen. What, what, I'm I'm doing a BP only run. Then you are supporting the brand. Cool, sick. Is that what that means? Where it, did that start? Uh, the so there's the uh, the poorly Google translated um, version of Paper Mario, Book of Mario, and Book of Mario Thousands oh, yeah. of Doors. So whenever you level up in Thousands of Doors, when you have the option to select BP instead of saying instead of the descriptor being like you know raises your badge points or whatever, it just says support the brand. 
<laughs> That's great. That's excellent. So, you know, in, in my playthrough of the uh, of the Switch one, I supported the brand as much as I could in that. And like, you know, you could, man, you could really like, <laughs> the game becomes a cakewalk if you support the brand enough. Yeah, so I hear that's I mean, a lot of people were trying to convince me to do it from the start. And I was like, all right, I'll do it because like it sounds fun. Yeah. And also I hear like because I don't know much about the late game, but I have played the first three. Well, no, first two and a half chapters of there this are, game before. <laughs> a lot of people tend to get stuck in glitz pits just because of like it is kind of like dull, you know? Yeah, I, I like glitz pit just because I like tournament arcs. So like I'm able to see past the fact that it's just. Uh, what is it like? Just battle after battle after battle after battle. But yeah. I but I get how other people wouldn't enjoy it because of like uh, of um because of that. Um. Okay. Well, thank you for this wonderful call, and I'm glad we don't have beef. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to my game. I'm and not. Do silly I really voices. want a burger. <laughs> I don't even like beef. <laughs> oh, you don't like? Where's the beef? Give me a chicken sandwich any day. Ooh, Popeyes? Uh huh. Uh, yeah, I could go for a Popeyes. Yeah. Chick Fil A. Chick Chick Fil A is tasty, but homophobic. So yes, that that yes, <laughs> that is the correct answer. <laughs> All right. Anyway, bye, Tom. Bye, Josh. Nope. <laughs> what a one to go out on. I was mentally checked out. Why did Josh think y'all have beef? Because someone came in, into the chat and says, Josh doesn't think you're a gamer. Ooh, I had a little, little burpy there, huh? said tasty but homophobic why do I want this on a shirt that would be the most risky shirt to wear anywhere it's like that's like the introverted but willing to discuss proton John shirt cranked up to 11 Listen, being uh, living isn't that like being being a, a person isn't that hard. Don't hurt anybody and don't fuck animals, kids or people who can't consent. Like the, the two rules, two rules you have to follow. Thank you. 
Philosophers would argue there's more. The heck did my attention just tune back into? The two rules of being a, of being a, a decent human being. Oh, and corpses are off the table, too. This is not a track. It's just the alarm that goes off. That's where I draw the line, is alarm noise. I think the land's under people who can't consent. True. <laughs> Instructions unclear, still fizzy lifting drinks. This is the Snag'em hideout theme. <laughs> this is the theme of the Columbo dimension. Uh, got up and lay down the beanbag chair behind me. What am I doing on... Okay, yeah, I got time. I'll probably take a, a break at 2430. Uh, just so I can get up, get a drink, and also uh, because... I've got move goals. I've got move goals on my Apple Watch. I also wanted to get some water. And bring my dishes downstairs. Why is Agate? That's true, yeah. Why is Agate so far down on the uh, on the soundtrack? It's after the Snagum hideout. I don't think you go to until post game. Got to get those steps in for the Apple Watch. They say you should get 10,000 steps in a day. But according to my watch, I barely scratched that after a full day of exercise, including taking Manatee for a walk and going on a five kilometer run. For me, Apple. Wait, the company, the fruit, or the streamer? Josh is, in fact, supporting the brand. I'm at, I'm at like around uh, like uh, 4.5k steps right now. Nope. Del, shut the hell up.
10k step seems excessive. I don't know if that's for, for health or for like, you know, you should be taking 10k steps if you want to lose weight. Either way, you should be getting up and moving though. Because it's important for like, for your circulation to, uh, if you, to, for you to get up and, and, you know, move around. So jump around! Jump around! Jump up, jump up, and get down! Yes! It's my favorite song in the Pokemon Coliseum soundtrack. Could you do the Saitama workout? Saitama's workout is ex is excessive on the running. Thank Captain God. Caveman with a 42 month tier one. Thank you very much. Like 100 push ups and 100 sit ups is nothing, but a 10 kilometer run every day, that's gonna boost your cardio. <laughs> Plus, you're also missing out on a lot of muscle groups uh, that aren't. Because, like. Push-ups are mainly for like your chest and your biceps. So you're missing out on your triceps, you're missing out on like your back muscles. Um missing out on, like, on, on your shoulders, like a lot of stuff when you don't when you're uh when you just do push-ups. Crunches only get the front of your abs, and you gotta like work out like uh your your lower back and your obliques on the side as well. As well as your core, because your core is like your main support. And uh running 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 mainly Running is weird. Running gets like a lot of the leg and the tuchus. <laughs> and all that running is good for our buns and thighs, nope. right? Yeah, buns and thighs. As a reminder, you gotta do that for three years straight. So how far was he running? Let's see. 365 times, uh, times three. Five. Nine. 1,095 days, possibly a leap year, so, uh. So it's possible he it was doing that for 1,096 days. Oh yeah, you don't use air conditioning, you only have a banana for breakfast. So he ran a total of 10,950 or 960 kilometers. I think the idea was to get around his limits. Why no AC? Heat resistance. And cold resistance. Like according to one punch man lore, like every human has sort of like a like um their brain is built in with a limiter. And like Saitama through his like through his very specific and kind of stupid training uh broke that limiter. I can't wait to hear that song when I get the shiny Quagsire. A 5k is around 3.11 miles. My long-term goal, my long-term fitness goal is to be able to run a 5k in a half mile. Half mile, half minute. I'll do the Kessel Run in 12 parsecs. More trail mix as I take a look at this Quagsire who is definitely nope. not pink. I had to 
clear off my table. So much junk. I say 5k and half a minute, I meant half an hour. First time I said half a mile, uh, yeah, half a mile. Isn't a par second unit of distance not time? That's the joke. There was some, uh, someone explained though, someone came up with, with a theory that um, the uh, the Kessel run is basically like, it basically diverts really close to like a, like a black hole or something like that. So the, so the fact that he was able to do the Kessel run in 12 parsecs means he was able to get the shortest distance by getting closer to the black hole. Oh, we'll shut off in solo. I forgot what they did for that. They did that specifically so uh, George Lucas wouldn't look like an idiot. Trail mix. If we're wondering about late night snacks. Pokemon Coliseum OST I'm listening to. I basically use like all of them. This is like from like a long time ago, and it basically used like pictures from like low res pictures from like uh, from different parts of the game. It gets the NASCAR steam. <laughs> it's like Microsoft Paint fan art of NASCAR. It made me laugh. Hi, Seb. Thank you for the raid earlier. How goes the shiny honey? I mean, it goes. At this point, at this point, the shiny hunting is white noise to me talking with, um, to me talking with chat. Steam sale. How have you been doing, Sab?
Nope. Take me a day at a time. I get that. Oh yeah, I still was gonna take a break at 24 30. Whatever. Next catch. Next catch, I'll take a break so I can get some water. I didn't know this song was this long. Chathew, oh Chathew, I require more engagement. Type the first thing that comes into your mind in the chat, will you? Oh Chathew. <laughs> oh Tom. <laughs> Listen, chat is short for Chathew. I don't make the rules. Or Chatrick. Use you chat is short for Chatley. Chatticus? Matthew and Patrick. Nope. Chatticus. Like, like Radicus. You got it, you got it, cheese! I really like cheese! Anyway, we're gonna take a break here so I can grab some water and bring some of my dishes downstairs, so I will be right back. Back into it we go. at the end oh my god things are getting worse in the world of Pokemon
Plus. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball Super. What's your favorite arc? Um... Nope. Hmm. I like I like the Red Ribbon Army arc. I, I like I, I like Dragon Ball better than I like Z. We're going to twenty four fifty tonight. Mix of Fatalize is called Strike of the Devil's Axes by Lulz A and Carbohydro M. I guess, like, the main thing I like about the Red Ribbon Army arc. Uh, was um, Goku's training with Korin, and the uh, and the subsequent takedown of, uh, of Mercenary Tao. Plus, it really captured like the adventure of what Dragon Ball was all about back then. Another vault in Veluza. y'all say that uh, Dragon Ball is different from Dragon Ball Z? Well, because of the power scaling in Dragon in uh, in Dragon Ball Z, they have a hard time like like finding ways to make them like actually go to different locations that are like more meaningful in terms of a journey than in Dragon Ball. For example, or, or like, or like, uh, they have to sort of like invent, invent the journey as opposed to having it be stuff that like that you'd come across in nature. Having to go to space, um, not being able to locate the androids because they don't have life energy. There was more of like a journey aspect to uh, to uh, the original Dragon Ball that I like. I, I like I like adventure. I like journey. I like travel, and that kind of got lost in uh, in in Z. Nope. The original Dragon Ball inspired by Journey to the West, yes. Dragon Ball is Journey to the West, the bridge. Hey, bug. I started watching uh, Yu Gi Oh! GX again because I realized I hadn't. Uh... Oh, here Tom go goes again on the Yu Gi Oh! talk. Because I realized I hadn't, like, actually finished. Like, I'd finished, like, the, the... I hadn't finished season three. But I'm watching it in Japanese from, like, because, mostly because I want to see, like, the, the, uh, different, um... The different things that they change between the Japanese and the U.S. releases. For example, the line where, uh... I forgot the name of the teacher. The one with the cat, Pharaoh. Where he says, Ah, I just love pizza. And Jaden goes, You're getting pizza while we get whatever it is I'm holding? Yeah, Banner. Isn't too far off from how it was in the original Japanese. In the original Japanese, the, the, uh, the card shop lady made Banner a, uh, a, like a special lunch. And they were saying that like, and, and like they were, uh, they were complaining that they had rice balls and that he should share.
OG Dragon Ball isn't aged terribly well. You know, what with the 12 year old kid removing a sleeping girl's underwear who later tries to show off her underwear to an old man only to not have underwear on and just flashes him. Coops is named Book of Mario Carbon. It was Carbon. I don't remember much from Mega Man NT Warrior. I remember loving it when I was younger. And I would, I would, at the time, I would use my, uh, my Game Boy, I can't remember what was out at the time, either Game Boy Advance or DS, but I would use one of those as, like, the, as, like, the PET, and the games would be the battle chips. Post about the casting call. Best of luck. I'm gonna give it a shot. Auditions expire or auditions end on the sixth on, on August sixth. Though I'm gonna compile like my best uh, what I feel are my best features. Put them into a video. I'm gonna try to audition for V Shoujo. Nope. V show just starting a V show in branch. No, but they but they just they opened auditions. They weren't really gender specific on it either. That was a V show. V tubers already know you. Yes. There is, yeah, there is a male. Do they identify as male? Either way, there is a male presenting uh, VTuber in V Show Joe. Henya has not shown up here. I invaded their Mario Kart game once. And every now and again, I'll raid Henya. Doggy, yeah, thank you for gigantifying an emote saying good luck. Look at that big pog and lizard. Nope. 
Someone was asking why I'd want to join uh, V Shoujo. The main reason is because, like, having that sort of, like, backing, basically, like, it's mainly because I don't know how to run a business. <laughs> If I knew how to do like better advertising and like more consistent stuff, I guarantee you, I like, I, I would like be in a, a, a like scoring. I'd be having like, I, not to say I don't appreciate you guys, but I would be getting a lot of much larger viewership. I feel like if I knew what I was doing. Need to know how to run a business. 99% of today's businesses don't know how to. And they, yeah, well, I'd like to not have to spend like every single waking moment of my time worrying about how my numbers are doing. A man, I would love a manager, yes. The biggest things I want from V Shoujo are a manager and the and the and the com camaraderie from other VTubers. Nope. So you want a manger? Yes, I want a birth baby Jesus. Because I, I also suck at collaborating and meeting new people. You know what most of my collaborations are? Like, with, like, when I play, like, with, with, uh, Chilled? He regularly reaches out to me. And I have such a hard time reaching out to anybody else, which is why, like, a lot of it has been, like, the, a lot of my videos have been Among Us. But I also feel kind of a disconnect from Shield's group because I feel like they, like most of them, don't have like the same interests as me in terms of like gaming. I like JRPGs. I like chiller games. I like older games. Hi, Bob. <laughs> At least I got Jeremy in the Final Fantasy V-4 job BS, that's true. You, Matt, and Ray should game together if they ever need a- if they ever need a replacement piss boy. Not a replacement piss boy, but a substitute piss boy. Friends with Axial Matt? Yeah. Matt's a super cool dude. Nope. Oh, one of my Mario Kart videos, somebody posted a comment where it was like, Did you just have an accord with Matt where you two can't play Mario Kart together? That schedule might have changed from uh, him playing on Sundays.
They only need a replacement of cheap managers to wipe nags from the fate from reality by hitting them hard with L nags. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel bad for nags. Feels like the punching bag for a bunch of different groups. They shared a photo. Uh, Someone shared a photo on Zen stream where with uh, that Haruka and uh, and uh, Ari were on, and it's just like it, it was a picture of Nags, but like they photoshopped his nose to be significantly bigger. Four Swords Adventures is fun. I'm glad they're playing that. There's a lot of games that I'm really glad they played. I'm glad, like, because Chibi was really into Dokapon Kingdom and she got them to play that game, which, like, good on her. I don't think I could get a group of four people to play the entirety of story mode with me. Here's the thing, I would much rather play Dokapong with people because I don't get nearly as angry at people as I do at, uh, at CPU players. Nope. I don't know what it is, but like CPU players in games, I get unreasonably angry at. Like in any game. Because I've convinced myself it's like this is this is beatable. This is something that can be beaten. So I more get angry at it in the fact that it's like I can't that my ability isn't good enough to skill issue essentially. I think this one got me claimed next time, so we're not going to listen to that one. Which version of Dokapon Switch or Steam? I think I've got both, actually. I wish there was more of a modding community for Dokapon. Whether it be the Steam version or like emulated Wii version. Speaking of which, I like the. I feel like the Steam Dokapon. The Steam version of Dokapon needs a mod that brings back the ability to type in your own names uh, for the people you're playing against. Because, I mean, like, the ones that it came up with were fun, but it's like, it lacks that personal touch of just really sticking it to your friend. I forgot what my, I remember Get It, uh, there was, uh, on the one I played, there like, the two nicknames that came up were CPUsed and, um, get a job. I remember how long Nags had the... Uh, I remember Nags uh, in, in the, the Piss Boys uh, playthrough of it. Nags had the X on his face for so long that in the thumbnail for it, they drew the X on his face. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Nope. The new version removed the ability to put the, uh, yeah, the, it, it, like, if you want to change somebody's name as, like, a punishment for beating them in battle, it, it, uh, it auto-generates names as opposed to you being able to type them in. So I hope, like, they, they're able to mod that so they bring that feature back. The thing is, too, is that, like, there's there's very clearly like a like a, a good meta for Dokapon, but I don't want to know what it is because I feel like that ruined the game for everybody else I play it with. If you're going to V Shoujo, doesn't that mean uh, Haruka has easier access to your hat? <laughs> Maybe. Cool Pierce Leonard bit saying part one. So I'm so on disc only you talked about Hop's character arc and sword and shield interestingly. There was a PokeTuber called Zach Toshi does a lot of stuff, but his recent venture was to talk about the Pokemon series basically a fan fiction accompanied by Aqua Teen levels of of animation. Nope. Part two. His first series was if Ash properly traveled through Galar as opposed to the real series where he where he traveled the whole world in it. Hop was both Ash's rival and traveling companion. They part ways a few times during that series. Hop's character arc flows uh, follows the course but deviates to where Hop uh, gets out of his slump, becomes a trainer who could have become champion. He doesn't. But then there comes a point in that series where he gets a second chance and we never knew the outcome. I mean, the the anime and the games are, are severely different as well. The other thing about uh, the other thing about about like um, like playing against computer players in a game. Uh, is... What was it? Oh, like... The reason I say, like, it's made to be beat is because, like, it's a computer. It can be programmed to make the best possible moves. Like, no matter what. Like imagine if you're trying to get into the chess f for the first time and you're thrown up against the chess master level uh level uh computer.
Peter knows exactly what to do when they don't roll what they want. That would, that would mean, it would require the devs to figure out what the best possible move is for every, for what every scenario is. Either way, like, either, like, even then, like, programming, like, the out, like, the, whatever, like, uh, whatever algorithms it, like, the, uh, the, uh, computer players follow. Nope. Is essentially, like, how, like, all sort of, like, CPU-generated things go in terms of, like, strategy games. You think the AI and Legacy of the Duel is cheap? No, but I think it's really hard to do that because of, like, because, like, you can make your own deck in that one, and then it's not, like, it's not, like, difficult at all. <laughs> don't stop, you don't see that this is what you need. Don't stop, you don't see that this is what you need. Or like, if like when when commuter players are like more robust as well, because I'm thinking like Super Smash Bros. Melee, the level nine computers read would read your inputs. If you anytime you shielded and they weren't in the air or in the middle of a long attack animation, they would grab you immediately. I think that's what, honestly, I think level nine computers in melee are what taught a lot of people to just like roll everywhere. Because shielding, because shielding felt useless against CPUs. Because they would just immediately grab. Melee taught casuals to roll everywhere. I never used spot dodging because I could never time it right, and it, and it felt it, it was it felt too fast to like really dodge anything. Even though I'm pretty sure dodge rolling and uh, spot dodging are the, are the same speed. Nope. Well, you might be right, Del. I remember when I the first like one of the first videos I posted to my YouTube channel. It's not there anymore. I since deleted it. I didn't really have any reason to delete it. It was just gameplay with no commentary. It was me fighting against the level nine CPU in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. And for some reason, like it's Brawl, so it's not like that hard. But for some reason, I remember one of the comments being like, yo, good, good job beating the level nine CPUs. Like not even in a, in like a, um, not even in like a sarcastic way, but just like someone complimenting me on how well I did against level nine CPUs. I think the introduction of stronger foes in Dragon Ball is always good. I think the introduction of the Omni King who could, who like doesn't even have to fight to erase things was a bit much. Mm -hmm. 
the culmination the the culmination of Dragon Ball as a whole should be the Omni King trying to erase Goku and Goku just being like no. <laughs> That's the culmination of Dragon Ball. There's one that I've been saying, viewer gives Tom genuine compliment. Tom deletes the video in, de <laughs> in denial retaliation. Hey, self-love was hard for me for the longest time. Nope. Now I've got pills for that. That said, they're not happy pills. It's just, it like, it, it evens out, like, it quiets the anxiety is really what it does. Like I started taking uh, taking Prozac like um, probably like three or four months ago, and aside from forgetting like like uh, n the names of some uh, aside from uh, from uh, forgetting the names of some fictional characters, have I have I changed much since then? <laughs> Crush 40 has been copyright claiming, so that's not going to be work. Oh, why not? Chop Fusion collab. Like my mental health journey was uh was um because like pretty much like what happened was I, st I started doing therapy uh at like at one of my lower moments i was on lexapro around that time and like it was kind of helping kind of not um and then something happened in my life where i felt like i didn't need the therapy or the lexapro anymore so, you know, I, I stopped going to therapy, I stopped, uh, I stopped taking the Lexapro, and things were fine for a little while. And then just, like, thing, and then, like, things started to, like, pile up again. Nope. And then I discovered I had PTSD. So I went back to my therapist, and back to, uh, to, uh, my psychiatrist, to, like, talk about certain things. Probably the worst thing I got going on for me right now, is that, like... It feels like it feels like there's an empty spot. Yeah, between like anxiety, depression, and PTSD, I, I, I like a few things going on. Oh, an OCD. I had, uh, I had um, less of the compulsive and more of the obsessive thoughts. The compulsions and more of the obsessive thoughts with it. Um. Damn it! I forgot where I was going. What's OCD? Obsessive Compulsive Disorder. Uh, the it can manifest a few ways, but the most noted one is is like how people like uh like if someone feels like they need to turn a light switch on and off three times before they're able to leave a room. A not so obvious one is people who obsess over certain thoughts, like I would. Or they get triggered over something being slightly off. Yeah. And like mental health, like mental health isn't cheap. 
But there are like, there are programs out there that, that uh, people can benefit from. The place I was going to, uh, which was called Therapy Austin, uh, had uh, different pricings like based on like how much you were able to pay. Oh, I know what I was saying. The worst thing that's probably come out of like this treatment is the fact that because like the anxiety and the obsessive thoughts aren't there anymore, it's just weird that there's an empty feeling. Like imagine every day for years, you go into a room that has like, that has like, nope, like noise in it. Like any kind of noise. It could be like, like a TV going or like, people talking or something and then like one day the cause of that noise like starts going away and suddenly and, and then like one day it's just gone and you have no idea like what to do with that space Like, there's a part of me that misses the obsessive thoughts. It made me feel more active. It gave, like, the obsessive thoughts, like, gave me something to do. Say you felt more active since they're gone. I mean, like, it's just that, like, when I have, when there are, like, times of quiet where I normally have the obsessive thoughts, and, it was, and, and, like, even though it was, like, it was, like, you know, it was awful, they would occupy me, you know? Like, my dad and I kind of have the same thing, where it's, like, where it's, like, there's, there's always this uh, need to, to constantly feel like we're doing something. My dad has to go in for knee surgery at some point, and it's gonna like drive him nuts because he can't like work on stuff that needs to get done. Hundred bits of Gurkhoff saying introverted but willing to compliment uh, Tom Fox. The boat rocking is your normal. Being on solid ground is forward. Yeah, it's like the end of Waterworld. Hundred bits from uh, Will Pierce saying the guy I mentioned early is Aktoshi is now doing what if Ash continued his journey into Baldea. Also features the characters and story concepts from fur from the current show, with the game story and character funny a anecdote. The actual series in Japan started as an uh, started an arc that goes back to its roots the same time he started to release the series. Interesting. Shiatsa, thank you for the four months of tier one, saying he was a small quag, he was a shiny quag. Nope. What was I gonna say? The... Part of like, part of like doing this and, uh, and like being self-employed is... 
It's like, I can't, like, I can't really feel like I'm taking a vacation ever, because I always have to be thinking about this. Things could change at a moment's notice. And because I've been doing this for so long, I sort of have, like, this innate sense where it's like, if I'm not doing anything, then I'm not useful. Like if I take a long enough, or if I take a long enough break. Well, the other thing too is that like, you know, YouTube and Twitch don't help with that. Cause if you take a long enough break, then they're never gonna recommend your stuff again. Part of this is like always having to kind of be on. There's freedom involved with it, yeah, but like... With that freedom comes binds, you know? I've got, like, I've got complete creative fr uh, freedom over what I, what I want to and can do. But at the same time, I have to continually push that out. I want AI to do the dishes and laundry so I can, uh, so I can make art, not have it make art so I can do the dishes and laundry. But this loops back around to, like, to, uh, like, to why I want to, why I want, like, a manager or, to like, to, to join, like, a, uh, like, V Shoujo or something like that. Because it would help unload some of the backend stuff. I wouldn't have to obsess over it as much as I do. It'd be great for someone to take the reins for a little while, so I can, so like I can, I can rest and refresh. Austin's been a tremendous help with that. Same with Dan. Mew and Angu have done great at rigging this model and creating this model for me. My mods put in a lot of work, especially Cory, who's here at almost every single stream. I need to edit that because uh, Shul changed his name to, uh, on Twitter to Banjax. Banjax making making uh, good thumbnail art. When I more actively did let's plays. I'm bad at budgeting and I'm bad at delegating. It's 
Not that I don't think people can do things I want them to do right. It's more, it's the opposite, where it's like, if I want, if, if, if I think something is gonna go wrong, I'd rather it be my fault. Plus, there's the, there's the, the whole issue of being able to, like, afford a bunch of stuff as well. It's stupid, but I'd rather have things, like, I'd, I'd rather have, I'd rather when things go wrong, they were my fault, you know? Or, like, things go wrong personally for me, rather. Jesus, this Quagsire. I might be gifting a sub here in a second because this Quagsire is not going, is not staying in the ball. That extends into like this other thing that like. I, I've, st I've started realizing that my low self image causes me to inadvertently look down on people. What I mean is, I have this mentality of, I'm a moron, if I can do this, anybody can. And then I get like, and then I'm bewildered when people can't do the stuff that I can. Nope. But looking at that from the but looking at that from the other side it seems like that I'm being like that I'm looking down on them that I'm that I'm saying like I can do this why can't you Five dollars from Prince Luigi saying, "Dude, that doesn't make you uh, bad and overthink. If you care about your friends so much, you'd rather it affect you than those around you." Well, yeah, no, I understand that. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm uh, like, listen, a lot of work has gone into me like improving on this. This is just how my thought process went for the longest time. Kaleidoscopic core is really good. You know, I realized that, like, uh, I realized that last uh, last summer when I had um, some friends over, and one of them took a walk with me, and I'm super used to taking mile-long walks in, like, 90-degree weather. And the person, and the, the person I ended up taking a walk with ended up getting heat stroke. Couldn't even fix it without him saying I feel at the same time. I have very low self-esteem and often have trouble respecting myself. That sometimes translates to me not respecting others. It's an issue I still have to get past. Yeah. Hi, bug. 
It's really funny. I can tell nope. when Manatee is just like... Because I, I still take him for like the same walks that I've, I've taken him for a long time. But like when it's really hot out, you can tell when he wants the walk to be done because he doesn't stop to smell anything. He just goes. Hey, bug. You coming to comfort me in my time I need, or are you just making sure that I don't give Christian more attention than you? I like myself uh, more now at nearly 30 than I did at 18, so that's good. Yeah, same here. I mean, who didn't look back? Who doesn't look back and think they were a little cringe? At least in this community. A lot of those people, you know, there's that stereotypical, um, uh, like high school jock mentality where they're like, where they're like, they're way over the hill and they're constantly trying to relive their glory days because they're, uh, because uh, their life peaked in high school. I am cringe, but I am free. Let's redeem the future. Tom Peak to Smash Fighter has been downhill from there. Hey, Raven, thank you for the sub. 29 months of tier one saying, my cringe gives me freedom. Speak the language of, of cringe. Telete Haxors. Nope. All right, that's it for this this run. Uh, we're gonna do another fifty tomorrow at around noon Central Time. But yeah, how was uh missed you at AX this year, man? I I've never been to AX honestly. I, I hope you had a great time. Ah, oh, damn it! I every time I finish playing a retro game, I always get crystal blue balls. Uh, let's take a look at some fan art, and then uh, it was absolutely the best. We'll have to catch up on it soon. Hell yeah! Are you still stateside, or are you back in Japan? Back in Japan, landed yesterday, back to work today. Hope you're getting some good rest from uh, from Anime Expo. Oh Lord. All right. So for the fan art, starting off here, I got the my my uh, my new Friday Night Funkin' level from uh, from Move Fork, who says uh, I can explain. Bubblegum Cow with the next one saying, more sprites with Plungo. <laughs> I like how you gave Plungo the last name of Hamchild. Plungo Hamchild and Swolly T Elf. There's Plungo. There's the Plungo sprite for Infinite Fusion. 
Uh, and uh, there's uh, there's Swolly the Elf, Swolly T Elf, who was my suplex guy in uh, in Skyrim when I played that. Steel Bouncer with the next with the uh, next one, adding on to their Quagsire Mule by saying, uh, "TTS uh, Quag." There's a there's a Zentrea down there now, right next to Haruka and the Cyclops. Uh, Odd Fox Aki saying, "Finish my white two Nuzlocke tonight." So here's my team's MVP rooting for you to get the shiny Quag. It's a really good drawing of a pile of swine. I love that he's got the I love that he's got the shiny Quagsire banner between his tusks. Steel Bouncer with our regular dose of, uh, of, uh, of... <laughs> with our regular dose of yikes. I am betwixt two trucks. Inside of you are two trucks. Uh, next up for Bubblegum Cal. We have one Professor uh, <laughs> William Insect Fornicator. Billy Bugfucker. And uh, of course, uh, Flex Logan Scott Cowboy. You, mm. uh, we got a few more here from uh, from Raven Ty. I was the one who said about the t-shirt in chat. I had to put it uh, into a picture with some other t-shirts. So it might be a little bit of a, of a trigger warning, but something we were talking about before of, uh, with, uh, with Chick-fil-A. Tasty but homophobic. <laughs> God. Uh, this one as well of, if you could read this, you are in hugging range, run. And, uh, introverted but willing to discuss shiny quagsire. Oh dang it! I was gonna raid Haruka because I wanted to watch her play Baldur's Gate, but she uh, she ended. God love. Oh yeah, he said he was playing Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. Give John some of that love. Uh, and I will see you all back here tomorrow for another 50 run at uh, at the Shiny Quagsire before I leave for Seattle for a wedding and we'll be back on either the 15th or the 16th, depending on when my flight gets in. See you all then, later.